raise a toast to the spaceship, which is reaching its 15th perihelion today and is currently enduring the intense heat. The mission of NASA towards approaching the Sun. The Parker Solar Probe spacecraft is scheduled to perform yet another planetary flyby of our Sun on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, in honor of this holiday. At the same time that everyone on Earth is kicking back with a cool drink, the spacecraft will be making its 15th close approach to the Sun, also known as Berihelion, and will be exposed to temperatures as high as 1,500 degrees Celsius, 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,400 degrees Celsius. According to the website for NASA's Parker Solar Probe, the spacecraft will get with it approximately 5.3 million miles, 8.5 million kilometer, of the Sun's surface, which is known as the photosphere, at about 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 2030 GMT. That is a great deal closer than Mercury, which is the planet that orbits the Sun the closest, and which is approximately 34 million miles, 54 million kilometers, away from the Sun during its orbit. At this close distance from the Sun, Parker will be in its corona, which is the Sun's outer atmosphere. The primary goal of the Parker Solar Probe which was released into space on the 12th of August in 2018, is to figure out the reason behind the solar corona is so much hotter than the photosphere that surrounds it. In contrast to the typical temperature of the photosphere, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, the corona can reach temperatures of up to 1.8 million degrees Fahrenheit, 1 million degrees Celsius, 5,800 degrees Celsius, because the Sun generates so much heat through the process of nuclear fusion, stellar models hypothesize that the interior should be hotter than the surface. Since the plasma in the photosphere is up to 10 million times denser than the plasma in the corona, it is a little bit of the mystery why the corona is so very hot. Scientists on Earth have a difficult time studying the corona because the light it emits is washed out by light from the photosphere. This situation will persist until an eclipse occurs in which the moon completely blocks the sun's surface from view. There are times when all that can be seen of the corona is a brilliant white ring surrounding the sun. For the Parker Solar Probe to solve this solar riddle, it will have to travel at speeds of up to 365,000 miles per hour while simultaneously reaching out and touching the corona, 587,000 kilometers per hour. This gives it the ability to travel at speeds approximately 250 times faster than the maximum that a Lockheed Martin F-16 fighter jet is capable of reaching. This makes it the fastest human-made object that has ever existed. The Parker Solar Probe does not depend on St. Patrick's Day luck to survive the intense radiation that is emitted by the corona. Rather, it relies on cutting-edge technology. Even when the spacecraft is at its closest approach to the sun, the carbon composite barrier, which has a thickness of 4.5 inches, 11.4 centimeters, keeps the scientific payload from overheating to an unacceptable degree. Since perihelion occurred on December 11, 2022, during the spacecraft's 14th close visit, the spacecraft will approach the sun's surface at its closest point on St. Patrick's Day in 2023. This will be the closest the spacecraft will ever get to the sun's surface. There have been times when the Parker Solar Probe has come even closer to the Sun than this. The spacecraft was hovering just a hair closer to the Sun as of November 21, 2021, compared to where it was at that time. Later on in this year, Parker will fly through Venus in an effort to fine-tune the trajectory that it will take to reach the Sun. It is anticipated that the probe will have 24 close encounters with the Sun before the conclusion of its mission in 2025. At its closest point, the probe will get as close as 6.1 million kilometers, 3.8 million miles, to the photosphere of the Sun. 
It is only a tenth of the distance that Mercury, the planet that is closest to ours,